would work. I know it's so hard for you to keep your neck on this side. I'm going to let go. One. We're going to keep it there for three, Michael. Try again. One. No, you're going back. Try going more to the left. One. We were travelling down to Lang Lang. Uh, Michael gave us the phone call to say his car had broken down. Um, the last conversation we had was when he phoned us to say that his, his battery's gone flat. So, And um, he told us exactly where he was. He said, Dad, you know, I'm down at this football ground and um, yeah, the car's broken down. And I've got a flat battery. And when we pulled in, we just seemed that something was wrong. And um, we found him uh, within minutes. Um, we had police and ambulance. And they called in the air wing. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking at the time because I never thought I would have to talk about suicide to Michael at all. Just, he wasn't even rebellious as a teenager. We, you know, everyone was complaining about their teenagers. And I I'm just sailed through it. Just didn't have a problem with him. We had no inkling whatsoever that this was in front of us. He's very happy go lucky. Had lots of friends, good job. He still lived at home, he just had no reason. I thought I'd be a grandmother by now. <laughs> I was looking forward to that. I don't think he'd want anyone else to go through this. You know, he's, if he could turn back the clock, I'm sure he wouldn't have done it. If he'd probably seen someone else, he probably wouldn't have done it. Just don't hurt yourself. It can go wrong. Nothing can be that bad that you have to end up like this. Talk to somebody. Talk to us and yeah, we'll tell you. Yeah, you see on the TV, you see Les Twentyman get up and do his advertisements about suicide and how people lost their life, but no one gets up and says that the person attempted it. And, didn't succeed and um, that's where we are.